Is Keir Starmer's desperation for votes turning him a bit shameless and tone deaf? That's the general sentiment online after he released a video that's gone down like a lead balloon attached to another larger lead balloon. He decided to pipe up about Islamophobia Awareness Month. Yes, you heard that right. There's a whole month for it. I'm surprised there are enough months in the year for all that complete and utter tosh that we have to put up with these days. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we start working off a different calendar so we can soon acknowledge more stuff, but this time for six months at a time. Here's what Keir Starmer, the bloke who, by the way, was essentially turfed out of a mosque by an imam who barely spoke English and had no idea who he was, had to say. This Islamophobia Awareness Month comes at a deeply troubling time for Muslim communities across Britain. We've seen a devastating rise in Islamophobia, leaving people feeling fearful and unsafe in their own country. The surge in Islamophobia is simply appalling. My Labour Party is committed to work closely with all communities to ensure they have the security they need to feel safe. OK, so he doesn't want Britain to be a place where British Muslims are unable to be their whole selves. OK, are we really seeing Islam being forced underground, though? Is that actually a thing? Well, maybe it is. Maybe I don't understand the true extent of it all. But then videos like this emerge, don't they, of some people here praying outside Downing Street. And it does make me question somewhat how secretive British Muslims have to be about their faith. That's their right to pray there in a free society. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, of course. But my point is, please actually tell me where in Britain Muslims feel as though they can't be their whole selves. Now, there is Islamophobia at times in this country. There are pockets of it. There's no doubt about that. And, of course, it's wrong. But the timing of this statement is absolutely tone deaf and out of touch and actually offensive. Anybody with eyes in their head, in fact, no, even the blind, could see that right now in this country the biggest issue is anti-Semitism. That is a fact. Look at these figures, OK? So the figures speak for themselves. There has been a 1,353% increase in anti-Semitism since 2022. There you go. Now, last night, Liverpool Street Station was blockaded by pro-Palestine protesters. Liverpool Street Station, by the way, has a memorial outside for Jewish child refugees brought here during the war. Those protesters knew that, surely. At the weekend, I saw some shocking stuff. Five-year-olds, at most, by the way, with megaphones chanting about Israel being a terror state. Can you imagine the scene, right? It's Saturday morning. Your wife's there on the sofa. All right, love, I'm just off out with the kids. Oh, you're taking them to the football, is it? Is it the cinema? No, I'm painting the palms of their hands red to symbolise Zionist blood. And I'm going to tell them to shout things about the eradication of a sovereign nation and its people right outside the Houses of Parliament. Well, I'd laugh along like a hysterical maniac. You're a weirdo, mate. That's weird stuff. The fact is, as well, that it's doubly backfired for Sir Keir catastrophe because the pro-Palestine brigade still hate him, don't they? They see this for what it is, a pathetic attempt to claw back support among the Muslim community that has turned against him and thrown the Labour towel in because he isn't calling for a full ceasefire, despite Hamas's top brass saying they will repeat the October 7th massacre, Israel is the problem, and they have an army of martyrs lined up to die for the cause. We are not an Islamophobic country. If we were, then, let's be honest, cities like Birmingham, Bradford and Wakefield would be very different places, wouldn't they? We wouldn't be continuously removing the word Christmas from Christmas events, just in case, during the reference to the birth of Jesus Christ, we happen to offend or exclude people. Talking of Christmas, the Kensington Palace ice skating event has been cancelled this year due to security fears. And I'll just leave that there. So, to summarise, Keir Starmer has managed to release a video that's as popular as a fart in a lift, and in doing so, he's annoyed pretty much everybody from every different pocket of society. Absolutely mega result. Well done, Sir Keir.